Hey peeps, happy Sunday. So, <laughs> I have been on live once, I apologise. I was trying to see comments and then I pressed something and I think I just managed to cancel my life. <laughs> so I'm going to do it again. What I should do is just not try, okay? I should just leave it well alone, Kelly. Pack it in, goodness sake. <laughs> so I am not going to touch any buttons, okay? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to risk it. So we are looking at, I'm going to go over it again if you are just joining this live. Thank you. I think I see a few of you have popped back up. <laughs> you know me and technology are not great, okay? Oh, we do our best, but <laughs> we're back. We're back, okay? So I'm not going to touch anything. I can't see comments. I'm hoping some of you are saying hi. <laughs> just laugh at me as we go along. I can see like any hearts and emoji stuff thing, I think going on. Uh, you know, the heart and the like and that. So if you want to laugh at me, you're welcome to, because that might pop up. I might actually do that. <laughs> so anyway, so Gemini, oh, oh, there we go, heart, thank you. Yay. Oh, more laughing emojis, fantastic. <laughs> I can see them. <laughs> okay, but I will answer any questions that you have um, as we go along. I, I would do as much as I go along, but I can't see them. So I am going to go on afterwards and answer your questions. So please ask questions anyway, and I will answer them after the live. I will just come back and reply to you personally. Okay, cool. Okay, so Gemini or outside leg hang. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. I just realized I put cream on earlier. So let's, <laughs> let's make sure we can try and grip on this bowl. Um, so I'm going to show you what this looks like. And then I'm going to break down ways you can actually do it. Um, and if you are working in the program, if you're part of our ultimate progression program, you will start to work on, you'll work on this as you go anyway, but in particular, developmental high beginner, you're going to be working on this from the ground. And I'm going to show you that in this, um, in this live anyway. So anyone who's not part of the program and you want to know how you can work on it, even as a beginner, you'll, you'll be able to take this knowledge and run with it, okay? And if you need further help, reach out. So let me show you. Okay? Can't, can you see okay? Yeah, okay. Just about. <laughs> Just thought. Can you actually see me? Okay. So that is a, what I call a Gemini. I know some of you call it a Scorpio, but if we just, you know, go outside, inside, then that resolves all that, okay? So it's an outside leg hang. Now, a lot of people, so I'm going to go through some tips, okay? So if you want the tutorial, you can go on our membership or go through the program. Um, but the most important thing is getting those hips high, okay? We have covered this. So if you are struggling and you're hooking over your hands and you can't get your hands out the way and as you try and move your hands down your leg comes down okay then you are going to need to work on getting your hips up that is going to be the ma uh, major issue and it might not be the answer that you're looking for okay i'm not here to beat around the brush at the bush or give you anything you know a magic pill or anything i'm telling you the facts um, and you know the only way to progress is to develop your strength and it will be a hip lifting uh, strength issue so we had a look a few days ago at how to get your hips higher in for your inverts okay so if you remember we had a look at what i call floor hippie uppies <laughs> but technical term okay floor in inversion um crunches so trying to lift those hips up okay so you got to think about it i'm going to show you if i can get you onto the floor can i get myself on the floor here can you see yeah let me move it down okay i'm gonna put it down here okay all right so if you remember the hips have to go up. If we are get, not getting the hips up, this is what happens, okay? So you're going to try and get your, you go into an invert and then you try and hook over, you end up hooking by your hands, you try and move your hands out of the way and your leg comes with you, right? So we need to work on the hips up. That is the most important thing. So work on those four inversion crunches, okay? Go and have a look at the core workouts that I've already given you or the core exercises and go and have a look at the how to get your hips up higher for your invert video as well. So then you're going to tuck your knees out and you're going to shoot the toes up and we're bringing the hips to the bar, okay? So then from here, we can turn the leg out. So when I say turn the leg out, can you see this guys? Um, we are not just thinking about just hooking straight over like this, okay? What you want to do is you want to turn that knee away from the pole. 
The more you can turn your knee away from the pole, the more you can press the back of the knee into the pole. So if you watched yesterday's video on how to hook, okay, and improve um, your, your leg hooks, this is where this comes from. You know I said you've got to push the back of your knee onto the pole first. It's the same for any inverts as well. So you're going to bring your hips up. So if you think about lifting your hips up, you're going to turn the knee away from the pole. So my hip is on the pole, I'm turning my knee away, pushing the back of my knee onto the pole, and then I'm going to point the foot down towards the ground. Okay? This is how, that's how you're going to get your hands out of the way. So if I do this here, and I go up, push, push the back of the knee, see where my hands are? When I point down, they're not trapped, they're not here, okay? So I'm getting that good lock. So you should have a good secure lock and your hand grip, and you're gonna have your inner arm around as well. Does that make sense? So, tip number one, work on getting those hips up. If you are struggling to get your hips up, you're always gonna to struggle to hook your outside leg hand, or get into your outside leg hand, um, until you master that. Okay, there's there's not any other way around it unless obviously you descend into it. But if you're working on your inverts and you want it nice and clean, you've got to build the strength up, guys. Okay, follow our tutorials if you need to. Okay, so that's tip number one. Tip number two is you've got to lower your inside leg. Okay, so as you hook your outside leg, you're gonna as you push the back of the knee into the pole lower the inside leg down so it goes already away that's going to help you loads okay so let me move you back up here so when you go into your invert and you've got your hips nice and high we're going to push the back of the knee lower the inside leg okay you have to lower it because to be honest if you keep the inside leg up you're, you're or like center of gravity is right in the middle of the pole you're going to slide so if you're sliding it's probably because you're not moving your inside leg down quick enough so I'll show you what i mean by that so, can you see just that? Right. So when I go up, shoot the hips up, push the back of my knee, look what I do with my inside leg. So I'm going to lower it as I bend, so it comes out of the way, okay? That's the most important thing. You're gonna squeeze your butt, lower the leg, okay? Rather than just bend it like this, I want you to use those ass muscles. Day one of Mission 500, we talked about uh, working your glute, your ass, this is why, because we need it here to lower the leg, okay? So, inside leg comes out the way. Squeeze the butt. Most important, second important tip to do, okay? Third tip, pull up. And I know we've had some other, I've had some members join us, I'm like, oh, I've never been taught to pull up, why do I need to do it? Like, I'm like, because it improves your positioning. It will get you in a better uh, grip-wise on your side, like your side tummy muscles. If it just continues to be way up here, you're just going to feel like you're ha like literally hanging just from the leg. We need to improve this position and work on the side. So if you take note, I, when I did my demo, I did the hook, I lowered, and then I pulled up, and then I rolled the shoulders back. There's a reason for that. As I'm pulling up, I'm making sure the pole is just above my hip, literally in that side tummy pocket. Like I've said before, I'm using the grippy pole, guys. I can grip my clothing. If you're using a metal finish pole, get your clothes off, okay? Get some skin grip on that pole. Get that extra grip there, okay? If you just wear a closure, it's not going to be beneficial. So, invert, leg over, inside leg down, pull up, okay? So let's get to that bit. So, tap tilt, shoot, push inside leg down. So as you can see, it's still quite high up by my shoulder. So I want the pole lower. So I'm gonna pull up, lower the leg even more, pushing the chest up, then arching back, and then I can squeeze that inner arm onto the pole. So I've got as much of a side grip onto the pole as possible. So when you first start this, keep your outside hand on the pole. Some people I've seen actually work on taking the outside hand off first. But what I want you to do is I want you to move the inside hand down, I want you to squeeze with that inner arm. Again, increasing the grip. You're going to have so much grip in this move as long as you're engaging your muscles. So those who end up sliding in this move tend to be the ones that have that back leg lifted up in this top position and they're in this rounded position. So I want you to think about squeezing the butt, rolling back, okay? Lifting that chest up when you're upside down. It sounds a bit weird, I know. But the more we can arch, the more we're extended, the better grip you're going to have. 
The minute you start to round and tuck in, you're going to be sliding right down, okay? Does this make sense? Okay, I wanted to try and make this really speedy to the point. So, hips up, number one, follow the other tutorial. So, shoot up, hook, inside leg down. Then from here, pull up, roll the shoulders back. Now, extra tip, inside arm, I like to push with my forearm to making sure that that pole is low enough. Then as I roll my shoulders back and uh, uh, as I lean back, then I can move the inside arm out the way. Squeeze that inner arm, then you can release. Only when you feel secure, you can release the outside hand. Okay? Outside, inside hand back onto the pole. Outside hand just above. I want you to unhook, but I want you to pull up first. So pull up, tuck, unhook, land down. Another thing that we see far too often is getting slack in your dismount. When you slack in your dismount, you will start to lose some strength. Okay, so you might be inverting, you might be getting sloppy with the invert. Get strong, okay? You need to keep strong with your dismount, not falling out of it. So what I mean by that is rather than being here and then going, landing down, pull up, use those five steps. It will make your mounts continue to be strong. So, pulling up, so from here, pull up, you can tuck the other leg in first, unhook, pull, 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 land as quietly as you can. And the more you can actually work on your dismounts being super controlled, landing quietly, you again will build so much more strength so much quickly. Um, you know you won't be you doing it for years and not, not building strength, you will, okay? You just have, you, just, you won't have a choice, okay? Land and mount every move as quietly as you can. It will make such a difference, okay? Does this make sense? Let me know if you, right, I wanted to quickly show you how you can do this from the floor, like I was saying to you earlier, from working developmental. Now, as you know, all my lessons like build upon from the last. So you will have already learned this transition before you would be doing this. Um, so yeah, if you're following the program, it'll make sense. If you haven't followed the program, you might have not built up the strength or technique to be able to execute this really well. But obviously if you're following the program, you will get there. So what I mean is we are gonna work from that side pose position. So hopefully you know your beginner side pose. So I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, <laughs> that's my other side, which is good. Okay, so I am going to focus on getting into my side pose, however, once I've got my inside leg hooked, I'm actually hooking that leg as high as I can. I'm going to take my inside, or my, what will be my outside leg, it will come my inside leg, so take it through. I'm going to rotate my hips to face up, okay? So from here, we're going to hook. I'm going to sweep this leg behind. I'm just going to place it on the floor for now. Slide it away and place the foot down. And then you can move your hands down. You need to move the pole from your hip to your side tummy puff muscle. So we're going to lift that bottom leg, use the inside arm to get into that tummy grip position. Squeeze the heel down and really squeeze your butt to keep the inside leg down. Then slowly release the outside hand and squeeze the inner arm. Now your head may touch the floor. I, I hope it will, <laughs> okay? Because it'll build your strength. So you can work on just building the strength and the technique and understanding your lock, squeezing your butt from the floor. Then you can also work on your pull up, or you could work on your chopper dismount here as well. Okay? I'll just turn my pole on to spin. Does this make sense? So, do it from the floor, slide the leg through, pull always above the hip, okay? That side tummy pocket for an outside leg hang. Slide, move the top hand down, squeeze it in out of the arm and lift the chest. You can still work on all the same points. Is your leg locked? So when your leg is locked, something I didn't tell you um, initially, so the first thing I said was push the back of the knee onto the pole, then you want to angle the foot down to increase the grip, okay? Don't just think, oh, I need to lock it around like this, because you'll just end up coming up onto the calf, and you'll end up sliding out. Okay, <laughs> there we go. 
hopefully that was super helpful to you please let me know otherwise um can't wait to see you progress uh let me know if you've got any questions all righty if you need further help i am got some call availability you can actually book a call with me come and have a chat with me you know i'm not going to sell you anything that you don't need okay you, you have a choice whether you want to join us or not um but i'm just going to guide you on what i feel would benefit you um we'll just talk about your goals what you're looking to achieve and if i think we can help i'll tell you what we got if you take it or not that's up to you otherwise you have options okay so look forward to speaking to you on a call soon and uh yeah have a great rest of the weekend. Bye.